Sometimes the home of your dreams doesn't exist yet. You have to build it. It may not be as easy as buying an off-the-rack home, but it's so much more rewarding because this is your chance to take charge, to make your home and your life exactly what you want it to be. Not only do you get to choose what to build, you choose where to build it. It starts when you walk into a Wayne Homes Model Center and decide on a home. Then you find a piece of land to call your own, or maybe you already have one. Either way, Wayne Homes can give you a free home site evaluation to make sure it's good, buildable land. So you've got the land. Here's what happens in five important steps. First, it's important to remember we're building on your land. So as the landowner, you'll have some things you'll need to do to get the process started, and we can help to guide you through all of it. Now, here are a few milestones before we start digging the foundation. One, first thing is to formally submit your loan application. You'll be in contact with your loan officer, and we can recommend a good one if needed. Two, then you'll have your design appointment to choose your home's final finishes. That's when your home starts to feel like, well, your home. Meanwhile, we assemble a team to discuss exactly how to build your new home. Three, a home site inspection has to be done. This is when we position the house on the lot, figure out its best orientation and other lot-specific challenges like topography, and we determine locations for utilities. If you're in a subdivision or any area with special deed restrictions, you may need an architectural review approval. We'll provide you with materials for this. Then there's the all-important pre-construction meeting when we finalize all selections, review blueprints, and mark changes, and we estimate the total construction cost. The final loan amount is shared with the bank. Note, any changes after this, a wider driveway, a different door, anything, affects the loan amount and sends the process back to the loan application stage, which delays construction. Four, here's where you have to be a rock star. Again, since it's your land, you will be the one pulling permits for zoning, septic, well, driveway, and then we'll take care of the building permit. The requirements are different from state to state and even county to county. Five, it's time to make it official with the final appraisal and loan closing. To do this, you'll need a few things. For instance, you'll need the survey and site plan showing lot dimensions, property lines, structures, and all that good stuff and proof of builders and personal liability insurance. You'll need a zoning permit if you're in a city or township. In that case, you'll also need water, sewer, and storm tap fees. Or if you're not in a city, you'll need the well and septic permits we mentioned earlier. You may or may not need a driveway permit. In Michigan, you'll need a soil erosion permit or waiver. Then, we will apply for the building permit. Once the loan is closed, the title is recorded, and it's official, official. Now lot preparations begin, like constructing driveways and swales and removing trees. We'll recommend someone to do this and help with the scheduling. There's only one thing left to do. Dig a giant hole and fill it with your new home.